hello and welcome to it's about everything in today's episode i'm going to show to you how you can convert your normal hp printer into an ink tank printer with a ciss kit or which is also known as continuous ink supply system kit so you can see the printer i have is an hp 1010 deskjet printer and in order to do this conversion i have bought two new cartridges and ink and the ink supply system kit so you can see this is the ink tank which i am going to fix uh, in this printer and it has additional components given uh, along with it so this is the box that i bought from ebay it cost me about uh, 700 rupees and along with the ink tank it has some uh, accessories or components that I will need to install the kit so you can see this is the tank and it has about three feet long uh, rubber tube it's actually four rubber tube three for the color and uh, one for the black ink and in this small pouch you can see it has a few components and syringes and many small components in this packet so these are the components that was provided with this kit so as you can see this is the priming uh, kit where you can plug in the cartridge and then prime it so in the bottom you have to fix a syringe and then you suck it so when you pull the syringe it primes the ink from the cartridge so the kit also comes with this it has a small attachment you can see with which you can uh, prime smaller cartridges you can see it fits right there where you can fit in small cartridges and then prime it so they have provided four syringes and then you can see this small screwdriver like thing is actually a drill a small hand drill and it's required to drill the holes necessary for the plugs and everything you will see when I do it and then few clamps to hold the rubber tubes so you can see all these clamps has a double sided tape stick in one side so it has two clamps given with it so you can see how this clamps actually grabs the rubber tube and this is a small attachment which is a flow restrictor actually when you are not using the printer it stops the flow of the ink it's just like an IV line you roll it down and it stops the flow of ink from the ink tank to the cartridge this one also has a double sided tape stick in the back side so in order to apply all I need to do is pull the paper and stick it so you can see it has five plugs and five elbow sorry four elbow joints so three for the color and one for the black and they have provided five plugs so I have installed the color cartridge and the black cartridge the new cartridges that I've bought and I have opened the old one so you can see these are the old cartridges I have tried to refill them but I actually failed because the ink was dry so now I'm going to test whether the new cartridges work properly or not and I'm going to align the cartridges after I'm sure that the cartridges print I'm going to proceed further so I've already tested the cartridges and now I'm going to open the printer So you can see the carriage is on the left I'm going to pull the carriage in the middle 
and before proceeding the work I'm going to open up the cartridges so the right side is the black cartridge and the left side is the color cartridge So this printer uses 802 cartridges. The printer model is HP DeskJet 1010. So after pushing the cartridge to the left, I'm going to open the printer. So I'm going to invert the printer upside down and that's why I have opened the cartridges. So I have inverted it. Now it has four screws. You can see two screws in the back and two screws in the front. The front screws are actually in a much more complicated area. You can see right in the corner where it will be hard to stick a screwdriver there. so you can see from another angle so you can see one screw is here and another screw is right here so from looking closer I found out that the screws actually are allen key type so I'm going to need an allen key to open it and my allen key set is currently taken by my brother so I have to manage it somehow so I'm using my screwdriver set which I use for repairing uh, mobile phones and luckily it has an attachment that fixes with the screwdriver or the screws you might need to buy a separate screwdriver for this purpose or you can use an Allen key so in the front the screwdriver does not fit so I'm going to open the screwdriver bit and I'm going to hold it with one hand and I'm going to use a needle nose plier to rotate the screw and open it So you can see here how I have holded the screwdriver bit with the needle nose plier. So I have opened all the screws now and I'm going to open the cover. So the cover has two locks on both the sides. I'll show you in a second. You need to open those locks otherwise you might break it. so you can see there is a small lock right here and another one on the other side right here and this locks locks in here and in here so you can see the entire printer at glance and how it works pretty simple you can see the carriage is on the left and I can easily move the carriage from left to right so you can see the ribbon wire which moves along with the carriage I'm going to mimic the same process with the rubber tubes so that it moves along with the carriage without jamming it So the clamps that come with the CISS kit they differ from kit to kit and uh, you might get a different type of clamp so you need to improvise according to the clamp you get.
so you can see how it works now I have this rubber tube it has three for the color and one for the black it's total of four tubes and I'm going to cut a hole on the left side so that the rubber tube can enter and it will loop around and go into the cartridge and it will move along with the carriage and I need to think something for the support so you can see here is a small flipper so this flipper actually cleans the cartridge when it moves back and forth but when it's printing this flipper goes down and when the printer is not in, in work or not working on the left side there is a rubber boot which actually seals the print head or the cartridge printing surface as the carriage moves from right to left you can see the boot actually automatically lifts and attaches itself with the cartridge printing head so I need to fix the tube rubber tubes in such a way that it does not jam the carriage otherwise I will see a carriage jam error so these are the clamps that I've got with the with the kit and I need to think something out of it so you can see it has a double sided tip on the back side so if I use the larger clamp there is no surface flat surface on the right side of the carriage as I have seen other videos of conversion their clamps are different than mine and I cannot attach this larger clamp on the left side as well because there is no clearance and if I fit it on the top the clamp direction is in the wrong side so I think I need to use the smaller clamp and I have to fit it on the top on this side or on the left side so I need to check the clearance for the clamp so I am putting back the black cartridge the old black cartridge actually so that I can take some measurements so the plan that I'm thinking of doing is this one you can see how the rubber tube is going to loop around and go into the cartridge and on the top I'm, I'm going to fabricate uh, some clamp on here because I'm I cannot actually use the larger clamp because it has the direction in the wrong side so I might need to make a clamp for myself so I've put the cover on the top and I'm measuring the top clearance you can see this ridge here is going to create a problem so I might need to cut that off because the clamp somehow manages to stay on top of it and I have not actually uh, used the double sided tape I have just kept it on top on top of that carriage just to see the clearance and there is just 2 or 3 millimeter of clearance so I might need to cut this ridge to fit it so that's it for today friends I don't want to make this video much longer so in, my, in the next part I'm going to show you how I do the next process so I hope you like this video if so please subscribe like and share this video so I'll catch you in the next video and thanks for watching